All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and the Lashwan Kwadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. Those are titles that the world, the people call, you know, but Yahweh is His true name, and Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashim means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior, he is the deliverer. Bahashim in the name, Rakachodash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give a double honors to the apostles, the bishops, elders of Great Millstone, Ruel, and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akiyam, to you brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the sincere Akiyam Wa Athwats, to the sincere brothers and sisters. That may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. This is the brother Taza War Bon Aparian from the GMS Boston Camp back with a quick lesson through the spirit. And I pray everything's edifying. So I was on um endtimeheadlines.org and I seen this article. And um, the heading reads Whistleblower claims the Vatican is hiding UFO secrets. Hey, Amen. And we've been telling you that these people in high places, these devils, the false prophets, you know, the Vatican. Or, you know, these elites, they are considered the Illuminati, the Illuminati or the Illuminated ones because they have this light. They know the truth, you know. And uh, the only way that they can tell a perfect lie is to keep the truth hidden, you know. So we've been telling you through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, what the, what the world calls UFOs or UAPs, unidentifying flying objects or uh Unidentified aerial phenomenons We know those as the chariots of the Most High Or of the Lord The vehicles of the Most High And His angels You know They're not um, They're not green uh, creatures Or aliens that's hovering And, and uh, operating those uh, Those discs them flying rolls These are the angels These is of the Ahawabashim Shai. This is of his hosts His armies you know, this is going to be a curse that goes upon the whole world. And it's ultimately the vehicle of the deliverance of the elect. When all hell breaks loose, those chariots are going to be made uh, 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 manifest. And every eye is going to see the Lord and his angels. And you see these uh, quote-unquote UFOs delivering the elect of Israel, man. Beaming them up. Because that's how the elect are going to be delivered once a total destruction comes upon the earth from World War III. You know, thermonuclear missile shot from one end to the earth until mainly America. So, you know, these we we understand what these are because the spirit has revealed it unto us. But now you see that the the, the truth is now being made manifest in these latter days. You know, you have whistleblowers uh, speaking out against the, you know these elites or people in high places of wickedness, uh, uh, having information or hiding files. Or secrets, so to say, because we know we're in these latter days. So again, let's get into it. Matter of fact, I'll start off with um was it Luke 18? Luke 18 and was it Luke 18 or just bear with me. Yeah, it was Luke 8. Luke 8 and uh, 16, the points in verse 17. No man, when he have lighted for candle, covereth it with a vessel, or put it under a bread, but see it, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. And again, the light is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, uh, revealing the secrets, understanding uh, the prophecies, and ultimately uh, giving warning and, and, and acknowledging and waking the people up, man. You know, we're not going to keep this light, this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding, the truth of the matter hidden, man. We're supposed to let our light shine so for, uh, before men, you know. But verse 17, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. See, so again, this was one of the major classified, so to say, uh, uh, information, uh, uh, one of the major classified uh, classified information that the government and people in high places were trying to keep hidden, man, with these quote unquote UFOs, man. And again, through the spirit, you know, we're telling you what those UFOs are, man. They're 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 
They are the chariots. They're the vehicles of the Lord and his angels, man. And he's coming to deliver the elect. So in these latter days, we know nothing's going to be hidden. Everything's going to be revealed. We're in the time of um, of the age of information, the time of, uh, of everything's being exposed. All cards is being shown out on the deck, so to say. Hey, man. And it shows that the Lord is putting his spirit through on, among all fleshes. All flesh, you know. And, and this is why, you know, you have a, a whistleblower revealing this information. Because we ultimately know man's goings is of the Lord. That's so to say uh, Proverbs. What's uh, Proverbs? Was it 20 and 24? Yep, Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So we know everything's being orchestrated and ordained from Yahweh Bashim Shai to ultimately have the, uh, a whistleblower reveal this information, to have uh, uh, people in high places uh, uh, reveal this information because there's nothing hid that's going to be not be made manifest in these latter days. You know, the Lord's going to put his spirit on, among all flesh. Was that Joel, the second chapter, and... Um, and uh, 28, Joel 2 and 28, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days I will pour out my spirit. So we know the Lord is ultimately pouring his spirit out on all flesh. You know, and, and, and he's ordaining uh, everything to be revealed in these latter days, man. So again, we've been telling you. That these these these, uh, these UFOs or UAPs these are the chariots of the Most High. They've been spoken about throughout uh, the scriptures. Whether you see flying roll as according to Ezekiel, a cloud, a world, uh, uh, a wheel within a wheel, a whirlwind, you know, these is talking about the chariots of the Most High, you know. So hey, we've been telling you this is the deliver. This is the vehicle. This is the way that the elect are going to be delivered. The elect of Israel, you know. But again, the Lord put his spirit upon all flesh. And this is the whistleblower. Hey, it says in um, Psalms that their tongue shall fall upon themselves. Uh, yep, Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. See, so ultimately, they're going to speak things and, and, and expose themselves, man. You know, but let's get into it, man. Uh EndTimeHeadlines.org whistleblower claims the Vatican is hiding UFO secrets. Uh, veteran e extraterrestrial lobbyist Steve Bassett told The Sun it was clear the Catholic Church knew about UFOs and likely has documented evidence hidden in their archives. See, and this is why we know the Catholic Church, Catholicism, all these denominations, they're wicked, man, because they try to hide the truth of the matter so they can push forth their lies. You know, they didn't tell people that uh, they, they don't push the truth of the matter. When you go to these Christian churches, Catholicism or any of these other denominations, which is still under Catholicism, they don't teach about America, which is Babylon, the great and the scriptures is going to be destroyed. That the, the Lord is only Yahweh Shai only died on the cross. Uh, for to, to for the sins of Israel And he's only going to deliver the elect of Israel You know they didn't talk about how The Lord's going to come back Or how the deliverance is going to be You know How the elect are going to be beamed up uh, Into the air In a chariot in a cloud You know a, a UFO so to say You know they don't teach these things They keep it hidden Ultimately so they can push forth their lives And this is why they're known as Lucifer, or the light, bear, the light bearer, or the the the, the enlightened ones, the Illuminati. You know, the light bearers, because they know the truth. They put all their resources and money and and in, and in, into in, you know uh, uh, experts, so to say, to try to study the Bible to understand it. But then they keep it hidden. But ultimately, the Lord revealed it amongst His servants, the prophets, man, in these latter days, man. You know, but continue on. He believed the Catholic Church even thinks ET are important, and the institution has hinted at their existence in religious paintings. He said the Catholic Church we have always known has been aware of this subject going back perhaps hundreds and hundreds of years. It's gone so far as to say whoso, uh, whoever these 
beings are, they, the church, would be happy to baptize them if they wanted to be baptized. Are you serious? Did you see the pride? They talk about they want to baptize the angels. You know? At the end of the day, man, the Lord is going to send them angels to deliver the elect and also me bring destruction also on Esau, Edom, and these other nations, man. Because them chariots are, 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 are going to serve two purposes. They're going to be a curse upon the earth. They're going to bring destruction. They're going to destroy people in their armies with the laser, you know, that concentrated fire. And they're ultimately going to deliver the elect out of Israel, man. I mean, the, of Israel, out of their captivity, man. So these chariots are going to serve two purposes, man. He said, extra nor uh, he said, Extraordinary information sits locked away in the Vatican Library and archives about the church knowledge through the centuries. But they, researchers, can't prove that for obvious reasons. Bassett comments come after David Grouch, Grouch bombshell claims last about extraterrestrial life last year. Grouch told a congressional hearing that the U.S. possesses fully intact and pieces of craft of non-human origin. But the, Air, but the former Air Force intelligence officer also claimed the news nation that Italy had uncovered one of those UFOs during Mussolini's reign in 1933. He claimed that then, he claimed that the then Pope uh, Pius, Pius the Twelfth had back channeled to the U.S. President uh, Franklin Roosevelt, who ended up scooping up the craft. Uh, Bassett said Grouch's striking claims surprised many believers and activists who have never heard of the story. See, and this is why they're devils, man. It says that the Catholic Church has been, uh, uh, been aware of this subject for perhaps hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And they didn't warn the people, but they allowed Hollywood, these movie directors and uh, book writers and entertainment to push a false narrative that uh, these UFOs... Again, quote unquote UFOs or quote unquote UA, UAPs are going to be a harm to society, are going to be a harm to uh, 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 for for believers. So it pushes a narrative for those that truly sincerely believe in God or who they call God and the and their and the Lord and Savior, and believe in the Bible as to to not uh, give reverence or to not fear these um. Or to not praise these the, the, the angels of the Lord. You know, they push fear like this is ultimately an invasion. And that's why the mindset through these uh, through Hollywood and mainly here in Babylon, they think that if this is true, that they're ready to go to war with the angels of the Lord. Not knowing that, you know, the Lord is going to be uh, it's going to be undefeated, you know, it's going to be unscratched, unhinged, you know, but again. They allow Hollywood to push forth deception, lies, you know, mockery, you know, and again in movies you see, um, and, you know, whether it's Independence Day or Battle of L.A. or World of Worlds, so so on and so forth, man. They, they make mockery as, you know, the U.S. government, mainly Esau Edom, is going to ultimately conquer these um, these uh, extraterrestrial beings, man, or, or unidentified flying objects. And that's that's truly wrong. That's truly off. Because according to the scriptures, you know, when World War Three takes place, them chariots are gonna make appear uh, appearance at the, in the east, and they're gonna ultimately contribute into the destruction of all these armies and militaries and nations and, and power holds. And all those nations are gonna stop fighting with each other, and they're gonna go to war with the Lord and His angels, man. And it's gonna be a flawless victory. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is going to take over. You know. Through the way of these ships But again the narrative The deception These lies Esau pushes It gets the people riled up As trying to protect America Or protect their Their uh, 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 Their country So to say And they're gonna make them Fight against the Lord See So this is why There's a lot of blood In the on, on uh, in Esau Edom And it starts from the Vatican Cause that's one of the three Major frogs That's spoken about I believe in Revelations <laughs> Uh, let's get it. Uh, three frogs. Three frogs. Bear with me. Yep, them unclean spirits. Yep. Okay. Uh, Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. 
You see? So them three unclean spirits is uh, the Vatican, which controls the, the, the religious Catholicism, you know, the deception that put the whole wool over uh, uh, a lot of the whole world's eyes of, of who the Lord and Savior is or just deception and pushing hell and all this other uh, false um, Greek mythology or fables, you know. A false god, a false uh, uh, lord and savior. So the Vatican is one of them unclean spirits. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Washington, D.C., which is in um, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, which is the military might that takes forth in strong arms. That's just the hammer of the whole earth. You know, this is, and then you have the, um, the financial, which is um, by uh, London or the U.K., you know, that controls the monetary and financial uh, assets, so to say. You know what I'm saying? So those are the three unclean spirits, man, that like frogs. So again, speaking on the Vatican, this is one of the major strongholds that's, that Esau, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the wicked, you know, has has um, has on the whole er world now, you know. But again, everything's now being made manifest, you know. The Lord has it as their tongue is going to fall upon themselves. Again, I'll read Psalm 64 and 8. So, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. See, so the wicked ultimately can't keep quiet, man. They're exposing themselves as well, man. Their plans, their new world order agenda, what they're going to bring with this, uh, the MOTB, the micro C-hip, you know, this cashless society, uh, order, order out of chaos, you know. Uh, invasion of privacy, Big Brother watching. You know, this is all part of their plans, and they have whistleblowers or people that just couldn't keep their mouth shut because ultimately we know the Lord is in control of everything. All this was for an appointed time. Everything has to be revealed, man. And now you can't say that you were unaware or you're ignorant to it because uh, uh, we're in the age of information. We have brothers constantly uploading lessons, starting from the apostles, the bishops, and elders, constantly uploading lessons. You know, we're not giving them rest neither day nor night. We constantly mention of the Lord and we lifting up, matter of fact, the skirt of Esau Edom. What's that? Uh, Jeremiah, I believe it's 49. Um, yep, Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not. So Esau Edom is the biblical nationality of the so-called white race, mainly these elites, the uh, people in high places. They come from Esau Edom, man. They're the wicked that the Bible speaks of. This is who the Lord, Yahweh, in, in, in the name of Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh, Shai Salakia, has indignation. Forever, man, you know, has righteous anger forever, you know, and he's being uncovered, his secret places, all his treachery, all his wickedness that he harnessed in power, he was doing in secrecy, but now everything's being exposed and revealed in these latter days, man, and it's through his servants, the prophets, man, we constantly, so was it, speaking on, uh, on, on, on bringing forth uh, a, a righteous ruler, which is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Exposing the wicked for who they are, man. You know, he ain't able to hide himself. Now he's exposed. He's been compromised. His plans is all out there. We got the in the age of information. We got the internet. You know, and they try to use these buzzwords as you know your conspiracy theorists or your radicals. They pushing hate or you're bugged out. But ultimately, they getting exposed. They getting they getting exposed because we in these latter days. It says that the man of sin shall. Uh, be revealed. What's that? Uh, Second Thessalonians two verse uh, three. Uh, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And this is Esau, Edom, man. These elites, you know, the wicked man. They're now being revealed in these latter days. The son of perdition, the the the, the son of destruction. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he as the Most High sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And again, his 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 dirty, wicked traits are now being exposed, man. His again, he been made bare the leg. 
uh, uncovered his what's that make I'll get back to that but again it goes back to what I just read you know his skirt is being revealed his sins is being pushed out in the forefront now he can't hide himself as he used to do he used to do everything in secrecy you know uh, verse 7 for the mystery of iniquity dove already work see it's a mystery of iniquity that's another uh, title so to say of Esau Edom the son of perdition you know uh, the mystery of iniquity, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. Uh, verse, I'll read it again. Uh, For the mystery of iniquity that already were, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed. Again, the wicked is Esau, Edom, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of. The earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, who is he? You know what I'm saying? That's Job 9 and 24, roughly paraphrasing. It's referring to Esau, Edom, man. I'll get Malachi, who the wicked is as well. Malachi. One and... Uh, I'll start at one, man. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Jacob's, Salakia, was not Esau's Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yet I have loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom says, we are impoverished, but he will, we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. See, so they're the border of wickedness. They're the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Esau, Edom. And this is who the Lord has indignation forever and ever. And they build him, but the Lord's ready to uh, to throw down and, and and destroy and turn into desolate places. And he's going to use these chariots, these quote-unquote UFOs, to ultimately bring destruction upon Esau Edom's heaven or his kingdom or his rulership, man. But let's get back to um, 2 Thessalonians 2. And uh, verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. See, the Lord is consuming with the spirit of his mouth through his servants, the prophets. We are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashem Shai. We're here to speak the words of prophecy unto his people and to reveal and expose the wicked for who they are, man. Again, we are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashem Shai. We, the Lord says he's going to put his words in our mouths, man. So this is who we, the Lord is consuming with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the works, uh, after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this and for this cause, the Most High shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. See, so these, the wicked, uh, again, they use so much deception that even our people don't even believe or can fathom to think that uh, that they are God's chosen people. They're Yahweh's chosen people, that they're the true he uh, Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. You know, this is classified information. Who are the true Hebrew Israelites? Uh, what are the, the those UFOs or UAPs? The, these are classified information. But through the Spirit, everything's been revealed, man. Through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But our people don't even believe. They think that it's a it's sci-fi or it's it's make believe that there ain't gonna be no uh, chariots delivering them up. They don't even believe in a new heaven. They they're so comfortable with this society. They think this is all they know, man. They don't think that the Lord is going to bring destruction upon America and throughout the world, you know, and set up a new heaven and new earth and dwell in righteousness. As Israelites ruling, they, don't, they, they, they couldn't fathom it. So they believe a lie that, you know, the Lord doesn't have, you know, angels operating these uh, uh, vehicles or chariots, man. They think it's actually green creatures or aliens, you know, it's in an alien invasion. Hey man, well you're gonna be leave a lie. You're gonna be thrust through. You're gonna be utterly destroyed for your lack of faith, man. But this ultimately blame you have to blame Esau Edom for that deception, man. You know, uh, verse twelve. They, 
uh, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And that's plain and simple, man. See, so this whistleblower is ultimately uh, doing the bidding of the Lord, you know. But, you know, the Lord has his servants, the prophets, uh, revealing to you. Uh, who, who 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 operates these uh, uh, UFOs, so to say? Again, they're they identify flying objects. They are the chariots of the Lord, man. And the Lord's gonna come back with the chariots. All eyes gonna see them, man. And that huge mothership or fathership, excuse me. You know, all eyes is gonna see them, man. You know, and the elect are gonna be caught up in the cloud, which is a chariot, gonna be delivered. What's that? Um, I think it's still Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, chapter four, verse seventeen. Con. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, angel, and, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead and the anointed shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. See, the cloud is talking about them chariots. The elect are going to be uh, delivered and caught up together in the clouds with the Lord in the air, man. The Lord said he's coming back with the clouds. Um, what's it? Revelations 1 verse 7. And it reads, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so Amon. And again, Hollywood, they, 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 they show you that. In Independence Day, they show you a huge cloud coming over the city. And next thing you know, then it's that UFO. Again, I'm saying, quote-unquote, UFO, because we know what they are through the Spirit. You see that ship uh, 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 makes a huge appearance uh, through that cloud. And every eye see him. And what does that that uh, that chariot does? It brings destruction on uh, uh, Independence Day. It brings destru destruction to Washington, to New York. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the Lord's gonna do. He's gonna get busy, man. All eyes is gonna see him, man. When he when he pierced the cloud, man, with that chariot. Uh, was it Isaiah? Isaiah 66 verse 15 and it reads for behold the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind again there's another uh, examples of quote unquote UAPs or UFOs man the Lord's coming in his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many so when the Lord comes with them armies the Lord of hosts with them chariots the world is going to be shocked they're going to be scared. Men's hearts going to be failing them of fear as according to Luke. I'll get that. Because the Lord's going to be judging all flesh. And it says the slain of the Lord shall be many. Them chariots are going to bring destruction as well, man. To Babylon the Great as well, man. What's that? Luke 21. I just quoted. Luke 21 and uh, I think it's 25. Come, Luke 21 and 25, and there shall be signs in the suns and in the moons and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw off nigh. See, so we know the, the, when them clouds come, when the Lord makes his coming with that power and great glory, destruction and, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. But for the elect, you're supposed to look up, lift up your heads for your redemption draw off nigh. Because again, these chariots are going to serve two purposes. Bring destruction upon the earth and deliver the elect. But you ultimately have to... Have faith and trust in Yah Bashem Al Shah that you're gonna be delivered up in this things, man. It ultimately starts with faith, man. And and we see it now because people in high places that have this information are now exposing it. So those that was on the fence, not knowing or couldn't believe it, well guess what? Everything's now being revealed, man. On on, on the left hand side, and especially on the right hand side through the servants, the prophets. The Lord revealeth again, I'll close out with this. Amos three verse seven. 
Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And that starts from the apostles, the bishops, elders, and brothers on down from Great Millstone and those that are affiliated as teaching this gospel. We're warning you about the prophecies. We're warning you about uh, Jacob's trouble, uh, um, martial law, chaos, famines, pestilence, uh, uh, the MOTB, which is the uh, micro C-hip. That John the Revelator spoke about in Revelation the 13th chapter being made mandatory. World War Three arrows being shot from one end of the earth, which are the ICBM missiles. And ultimately the chariots the, that's going to be make a, 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 a huge appearance and deliver the elect and destroy uh, uh, Esau Edom's kingdom, man. And, and subdue all these other armies and kings, man. You know? So with that, man, I, I, I pray everything was edifying. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakwadash. Double honors again to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule on top me this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf that would die, the house of David, the elect. And until next time, I want to say Shalom.